Good morning, guys. It's Darlene from Chalk Couture. How are you? I've been trying not to use our retired transfers, but I have a request for my granddaughter for her teacher. She needs a teacher gift, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this today. And I'm using our Be Humble and Kind. I think it's just called Humble and Kind. And um, it has hive rules, it has a little bee, has honeycomb, and it has humble and kind, but I'm gonna use be kind. I'm going to tape this off and only use the word kind. This is for a classroom, so I thought that would be really cute. And then I'm gonna make her a little pail to put stuff in, because you know teachers need that. This is metal, so we're gonna use our ink on this. So what I'll do is I will I'm going to go ahead and let's do the B first on here so that this can be drying and then we'll use it over here. We'll wash it in between. We have Clorox wipes. So it's it's super easy. This has been um, used before so I don't need to fuzz it. And I was thinking that I would do it a little bit diagonal so it's looking like the B is flying. And also, it probably will be easier to get it onto this rounded surface if I do that. So I'm putting it onto my metal surface here, and I can feel it sticking very tightly. You have to be careful on metal so you don't stretch your transfer. This has been used a lot, so I didn't fuzz it. But if it was brand new, you would fuzz it several times. So what I'm gonna do is, press this down, press, 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 and we're going to use, um, I think this is curry. Let me look. Yes, this is curry. I have a bright yellow, but I thought this would be better. We're going to use curry on here. This is our ink, and then we're going to bake this in our oven and make it permanent. So I'm just going to put some here and there, and when you're using the ink, you do not work it, work it, work it, you are going to simply spread it and then get the excess off and pull it. You don't want it to go underneath. So I'm using my squeegee, this is a small squeegee, spreading the ink so that it's going down through the surface onto the, through the surface of the transfer. These are silk screen transfers. Sorry, trying to get that other side there. And then I'm gonna start scraping it. The trick will be doing the other side, which I can do that later, or we could do it now. Um, if I do it now, then you can't see the cute bee. So I'll do that very last. I'll do the white last, because then I'll have to stand it up. So I'm scraping off the excess, trying to make it all nice and smooth. So then I'll go sideways, and then we'll pull this transfer. and. The ink does not dry quickly. The ink is gonna need to sit and cure. I like to let my stuff dry overnight, so basically six to eight hours, and then you put it into your oven. So you're gonna put it into your oven while it's cold, and then you're gonna turn it to 350, and you're gonna bake it for one hour, and then you're going to turn off the heat and then you're going to let it sit in there and let it cool in the oven for two to three hours. Okay, I'm going to carefully, it's very sticky, I'm going to carefully pull this so that my transfer does not stretch. Okay, I can see that this there's like a little area right at the end here that did not get ink. I'm just trying to do this one-handed. <laughs> Get the ink in that last little area. Okay, how cute is that? That's the perfect color. What a great contrast, contrast on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash this because we're gonna use it for this board. And that's the great thing is that these are washable and you can reuse them as soon as they dry. So we're gonna speed up that process. I'm using a Clorox wipe. So this is our Clorox wipes. I'm gonna wipe the front and then I'm gonna wipe the back. 
We're going to dry in between ink. Sometimes we'll stain your transfer. Don't stress over that. It doesn't ruin how your transfer works. Your transfer will work the same. It just will have a little bit of discoloration. You can get that off with your board erasers. If you're, if you're concerned about that, then use a board eraser or something such as a, um, mis the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. So I'm wiping the back. I got a fresh Clorox wipe. I'm gonna get a fresh paper towel. So you can use your transfers again right away. I'm kind of drying the back, just sweeping across. I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna wipe this one more time on the front. Make sure I get that ink off of there. And then I'm gonna dry the front and I'm gonna dry, dry the back. And I don't know if you can see this. Um, I know my, my camera, I was trying, so, so I'm, let me scoot this up a little bit. So I wiped the front and the back. I, I may have my camera set where you couldn't even see that. I'm sorry if that was the case. I'm just wiping the front and the back. Wiped it with my Clorox wipe and then dried it with my paper towel. Gonna pat it, make sure that it's dry. It's all dry, it's sticky already. I'm gonna put it back onto my backer sheet, which I have an X on the back. The front side is glossy. So the easiest way to do this is to have your transfer laying down and put your backer sheet over the top of it. Just line it up rather than trying to move your transfer all around. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll work on this while, while our cute little bee is sitting there. And then on the back of that bucket, I'm gonna put queen bee because I thought that would be so cute. I like to work from top to bottom with my signs. So the top part, hive rules. I want this to be um, in black. I want it to stand out. So this board, this is a cute board. I don't remember where I got this at one of the craft stores. Um, I had to wax it because it had a chalky finish and I didn't want it to ruin my transfer. So I used my Howard's Premium Paste Wax. It's up here in the corner and I waxed this with a rag. This one I can tell it's really sticky so I'm gonna fuzz it. I don't want it to, um, to get ruined. So if you feel that your transfer is super sticky, you may wanna fuzz it even if it's been used. This one has been used. And this surface is bumpy so I'm not sure if we're gonna have any bleeding underneath this. We are just gonna go ahead and go with it. Gonna press it out. I have all of my chalk paste ready. I have it stirred up. It is the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. I have couture teal. I have our, our black velvet. This is buttermilk. It's getting down there. I have another full one underneath. This is bumblebee. And then I have marigold. Because what I'm going to do when I get down here to the, to the um, honeycomb part, I'm going to do a hot mess down there. My bee is going to be all one color. I'm going to do it um, bumblebee. And then these color, these are going to be, I'm going to do be kind. I'm going to do the bee in, um, in bumblebee and I'm going to do kind in our couture teal. So I have a plan. It's always good to have a plan. This is our multi-tool. It's great at getting the bottom of the super stash. Our super stash is eight ounces. We have black velvet. We have our bright white and our storm come in the super stash. All the others are in our three ounce. There used to be two ounce jars when they first um, started. We had two ounce jars. I have some of the older ones. They're still good. I have one that I mixed. This, this one actually is mustard. I was gonna use this in here too. I'm, I might still do that. This is what it looks like. I can do that, I can add. We can always change our mind. Maybe this would be good for the bee. Okay, they had this little plastic thing on it that helped it so that it kept it airtight. Oh, need to peel this. It's getting distracted here. Sorry, let's peel this. So we're gonna peel this before it dries on our transfer. So hive rules. I'm gonna put this into my water bath so it can be soaking so the chalk paste doesn't dry on it. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what they look like when you open them and they're they're not bad. I haven't used this in months and it still is really fluid and the perfect consistency. I'm not sure why they quit using the plastic, but they did. Um, but these are the little two ounce jars. I think I'll use this for the B. That would be a perfect color. So I'm gonna dry this really quickly. I have my heat gun here. This, this is my heat gun. This is from Uline. It's an industrial heat gun and it dries things really quickly. You want to move your heat gun. Don't have it, have it sit in one place. And then I'm gonna return this to room temperature by putting it just on air. Okay. So then I'm gonna feel it, make sure it's not too, um, I have ink on me from my last project. I did, I did a live tutorial with ink. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me get that off my fingers. Yikes. Um, one second. Let me see here. All right. I'm going to grab a clean paper towel. <laughs> oh, I, I go through paper towels, I tell you. I buy the big packet at Costco, and I probably go through a package of them every two weeks. But we do have a business here, so that's part of it too. Okay, I'm gonna put this cute little bee up here and we'll use our mustard color. You can mix colors. If you wanna get a color like that, you would take your yellow and start adding a little bit of brown. You can do whatever you want. You do not have to just use the colors that we have. And I'm gonna put it, and it feels, it's, it's sticky. I'm gonna fuzz this on my t-shirt. You can fuzz on your t-shirt. You can use a towel. You can use our fuzzing towel. I'm going to put that right there at a diagonal and I'm going to make sure that I still have room for my be kind. Okay, I do. So this little bee is going to be mustard. I'm going to spoon some of this out onto here. It actually is pretty thin. Um, you want it to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt and it's a little bit thinner than that. But it will work. It will be fine. I have my transfer pushed down so there's no air bubbles. And I'm gonna make sure I get all of my areas covered. You can see the, the um, board underneath. If it's not covered, you will see white or black, whatever color your surface is, you'll see that through the silk screen. These are silk screen transfers. They're similar to stencils, but they have a silk screen in them, which is a fabric. And that is why we get such a nice, smooth image when we pull this. I'm gonna just set my squeegee over there. You're gonna pull side to side or top to bottom. You're never gonna pull diagonally because that will stretch your transfer. All right, that's a good color. I think that shows up really well. All right, now this can go into the water bath because we are done with it and we do not need it again. So it can go and soak in the water bath. A water bath is simply a container of water that you have sitting to the side waiting for you to use to put your, your transfer in. It can be a Tupperware container, it can be a turkey baster pan, it can be a cake pan, any type of container that has water. Like, like a flat, like a flat rectangular it's you know a couple inches tall so that it holds water. I'm gonna fill this, make sure my board is not hot. I'm gonna put my B here and then we're gonna do kind. So with kind, what we need to do is use our blue painters tape and tape off the area that we're not doing. So I am not doing all of this. So I'm just taping that off so that when we lay this down on here, it will only be that part. So I want my B part to be a little bit diagonal. I'm gonna fuzz this on my shirt once, and then I'm gonna use the same color. I like that, I like the mustard color. So I just need a little bit, and I'm gonna to have to use a mini squeegee. The, the small squeegee is gonna to be too big for that area. 
I, I make sure that I have a bunch of different squeegees just waiting for me. Okay, there's our B. I'm gonna dry this really quickly. So this is going to go over another surface. So what we need to do is I'm going to take my rag that I had waxed this with and it has has residual wax on it. I'm just going to wax this so that um, the other transfer does not pull up that top paste. And I'm going to fuzz this. Um, we fuzz six times when we are doing this over another um, area that already has chalk paste on it. So I'm going to take my my fuzzing cloth. You could use a towel. You could use your t-shirt. I'm going to fuzz this six times. That's my magical number is six. That's what works for me. You figure out what's going to work for you, but try this. And it actually, it has worked wonderful for me. It does not pull up the other stuff. Um, I think what I want to do is have this be straight. So this is going to be with our couture teal. And I want to make sure I'm not getting the, the, I'm, I'm seeing the bee through there. I want it to be close to this. I want to make sure that I don't get the wings of the bee. I'm going to press down on that. I'm going to make sure that this is still going to be fine. Okay, so everything still looks good. I'm going to take my couture teal, stir it up, make sure it's still okay. Um, if you have a project that you're working on that takes a long time, you may have to add water in between. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your little spray bottle and you're going to squirt just a little bit of water in there. And then you're going to, um, you're going to stir it. So if it looks like it's getting too thick because your project's taking longer, then just add a little bit of water because we want it to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. If you get a phone call in between and you come back and it started to leave a like a crust over the top, just stir it up. Just keep stirring. It will dissolve. All right, let's go ahead and let's pull this and see what we have. We're going to pull it side to side. Cute. I like that. Perfect. Okay, so when you have put blue painter's tape onto your transfer, you're going to pull that off before you put that in the water bath. You do not want this to start dissolving the sticky and the sticky to go under this. Awesome. Now we need to just dry this real quickly. I'm going to turn it just to air now. And I'm going, to, I'm going to feel this. You always want to make sure this is cool before you put your next transfer down. Now I just want this to be right in here. I'm going to fuzz this because I think that it's going to try to stick right there. And it has been used, but we're still going to fuzz it. We want to protect our transfer. These are reusable. Corporate says eight to 12 times, but I get much more use out of them. But I take really good care of them. I make sure that I fuzz them when I need to. I make sure that I wax my board when I need to. I make sure that I wash them right away and that I don't stretch them. So there's key things. I think I want this to kind of go off the edge um, or right to the edge. So I'm going to put that just like that, and then I'm going to start and go this way. Okay, and I can put that down um, a little bit so that I can see better. Hopefully you guys can see that. And on this, I'm going to use our hot, hot mess method, which is putting a variety of colors on. I wonder if that's going to get crazy there. Um, you could do this. I'm going to take some blue painter's tape and what I'm going to do is 
I'm not going to adhere it down. All I'm going to do is put this right here and press right here. I'm not pressing it down onto my, my chalk paste. So it's only right here. So in case I get crazy with that, with the chalk paste, it's not going to go up above there. So you do what you're comfortable with. If you think that you have enough control, then you just go for it. I just know I'm messy. I, that is the, that is me. I have always been a messy crafter. I'm sure that my mom would probably say that. But I clean up my messes after. That's that's what counts, right? Is the, <laughs> That's what I say. Oh my gosh. I think I probably, when I was a kid, I ruined so many shirts. So many, I'm sure I did, just crazy stuff. My poor mom. I was always busy creating. I oil painted from the time that I was eight years old. I was oil painting and sewing, just doing all sorts of fun stuff. So when you do hot mess, you are not going to put this back into a jar. You could have a jar that you captured and put all of the... Um, chalk paste like this and eventually you would have brown you could do that I I don't have one I simply put this onto a paper towel so I'm kind of mixing it and then I'm going to scrape okay so I have my colors and then I'm going to scrape and I'm going to take a paper towel a clean paper towel here because this is all different yellows I am going to scrape this and put this onto my paper towel instead of into a jar because you would not, you could put this, like I said, you could have a jar that you're just putting all of your extra stuff in. I do not. Um, I think in the beginning I might have, I have no idea what happened to it, but um, I just simply put it onto a paper towel because it is a multiple, it is multiple colors and then we're gonna pull this right away, but I have it all over my hands, so I'm trying to get trying to get it off my hands. I'm gonna pull my my blue painters tape first, get that in the trash, I'm gonna pull my transfer. So it it is multicolored. You can see the different colors. Um, don't know if you can see it better. You can see it in person really well. So you can see that there's different colors in there. This is going to be super cute. This is for my granddaughter's kindergarten teacher. So it, she likes bees. A lot of teachers do. Busy bees. Um, so I'll seal this. And then I will drill holes and I'll put wire. But isn't that cute? That is super cute. Super duper cute. And I got some right here. So what I can do is I can take a little piece of paper towel and wet it. And because I waxed my board, I can take I can get that off. It came right off. So if you have a little oopsie, if you made a little mistake, um, you can take a wet Q-tip. These are pointy Q-tips. These are real easy to work with, and you could just simply clean that. So I'm going to set this to the side while we do the back of this. It's going to be tricky. I'm going to tell you because I'm going to have to put this on one-handed, kind of. This is our queen bee. I'm gonna fold the corners under so I can pull this off. And um, I do need to fuzz this because it hasn't been used. I'm gonna fuzz it three times because it's going onto metal. And I think what we'll do is we'll use white because white will stand out. But I'm gonna to have to hold this. And I can't let the, I can't let this tip down or it will touch that. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky but I know I can do it. I just, um, I can't set it down to show you. I want it to go diagonal like that. I think I want it up higher. I need another person here. <laughs> Hello, anybody here? Not yet. And look at me, I'm such a mess. So <laughs> this will wash off when I, I will use soap and water and it will come off. I am going to, show you how easy this is so you can't set it down because the other side will get all messed up and I want it to stay cute. I'm going to just use some of our white. It's very thick. I'm going to grab a mini squeegee 
and I'm going to, I want to be able to show you how to do this. And it can be done. I, I'm doing it okay. Just going to press that in there and then squeegee off the excess. This is our ink, so our ink can be heat set. I'm gonna pull the transfer here in a second and you'll see how, how cool this is. All right, I'm gonna switch hands so I can pull this transfer from here. I folded the corners under. I'm just going to lift this up carefully. Cute, look how cute that is. And if you didn't like the placement, you can wipe that off our ink is forgivable in that manner. Now, here's the challenge. I'm going to have to tape this because that's going to want to go down and it will ruin that. So I'm going to put this into my water bath. Um, so, something with a handle. That could be a problem. Um, I think what I'll do is the easy thing to do. I'll take some blue painter's tape on each side. You're going to run into this problem. So you're gonna to have to think about this yourself. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to tape my handle up so it stays up. So all I'm doing is taking blue painter's tape, gonna tape this in place so that it doesn't flop down and ruin my little design. So that was, that was an easy way to do that. So I have queen bee and on this side. So I'll let this dry for six to eight hours or if I did this in the evening, I'd let it dry overnight. And then I'm gonna bake it in my oven. I did some mugs this morning on my live. So I'm gonna bake it in my oven for, um, so what you do, you put this on a cookie sheet in your oven to, and then turn your oven on to 350 degrees, bake it for one hour and um, then turn your oven off and let it cool for two or three hours. So we have our two projects and she can take these to her teacher tomorrow. That will be cute. She could fill this with something. It could have little kisses in it. Um, it could have pencils, erasers, anything. But how sweet is that? All right, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. If you have questions, just put them in the link below. This transfer is not available. I'm so sorry, but it's so cute. I wanted to use it. It is a retired one. We are hopeful at some point they'll bring back something similar. But have a great day. Thanks for joining me.